One system we haven't had the opportunity to dive into yet for Core Punk is the crowd control system. I'm sure you've already noticed, but in Core Punk you'll find various similarities to games that fall under the MOBA branch. Not just in the aesthetic of the game, but also the movement and gameplay. We have to click to move, and Q, W, E, and R will be the hotkeys we'll use for primary skills, along with the special one being available. And our D and F keys are for what's known as universal skills. We dived into this a little bit in the previous video, but basically these are skills like Flash and Ignite that you would see from League of Legends. And speaking of League, one other thing I wanted to mention is that in PvP, Core Punk will have a time to kill that's lower than World of Warcraft, but longer than League of Legends. As far as controls go, we will have a mount system, and mounts can be summoned with the Z key. Consumables or artifacts will be on our 1-6 to six bar, we'll get access to items like vision wards and buff items, jumping will be a thing in this game along with swimming, movement can be initiated while left clicking your mouse button, however you can press down and hold the left mouse button to continue moving if you want to. There is also going to be a mechanic of attack moving, they do have plans for gamepad support, and you will be able to use targeted abilities by clicking either directly on an ally or an ally's party frame. I'm assuming that's talking about buffs or heals, but I would imagine it would work the same for enemy name tags. As far as abilities go, some of them will have a cast time and you will be able to cancel them if you choose to. Couple other things you can do with the camera is being able to move it using your keyboard. You can lock it and unlock it to follow your character, thank goodness for this. And there will be a photo mode which will hide all UI elements when enabled. There will be a mini map available and it will be possible to ping people just like we can in League of Legends. Now to get to the main topic, as far as crowd control goes, we'll get access to these following status effects. Stun, Sleep, Fear, Charm, Taunt, Disarm, Silence, Blindness, and Immobilization. Crowd control does work the same way in player versus environment as it does in PvP, and even though there are diminishing returns on the player, this does mean that you can come up with some interesting ideas. For example, since it works the same way and we will have access to a taunt, that means we'll be able to taunt players onto us in PvP, just like one of my favorite characters from League of Legends known as Shin. They expand on taunts further by saying they are classified as aggro grabbing or forcing to attack the caster, and the developers have confirmed that it will work the same way in PvP and PvE. Some of the artifacts we'll have access to, which we can place on our 1-6 to six bar, will have skills to remove or cleanse crowd control effects. The crowd control effects will have HUD indicators above our players, and they dive a little bit deeper into another status effect by saying when we're disarmed, it's impossible to auto attack and use skills associated with weapons. For now, that's everything we have when it comes to crowd control, but for a couple other miscellaneous details, there will be a built-in damage, heal, and aggro meter that lets us try out different variations. Currently, we will not be able to change the location of our UI elements, but we will be able to track our buffs and debuffs alongside using various skins for the UI elements. And that's everything we've got for now, but thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.